In this video, I'm going to share with you my four top tips on how to get rid of hemorrhoids. By the way, the last few tips you're never told about. Okay, so let's kick things off with tip number one. It's time to ditch the toilet paper, my friends, trust me. Excess wiping and wiping of the bottom area, which is very sensitive, can escalate things, make it more difficult for hemorrhoid recovery. I see it in practice all the time. And the reason for this is very simple. Look, you're trying to clean your bottom, you're trying to clean the feces, okay? You're rubbing the bottom area. This is a very delicate sort of region. And this rubbing is like a sandpaper action. This sandpaper action causes micro tears. And these micro tears make it notoriously difficult to actually heal from hemorrhoids. So to accelerate the healing process, let's move on to tip number two. Use an alternative to wash your bottom, such as a water bidet. I cannot recommend them enough. They're gentle on the bottom area, which is gonna help aid recovery. Unlike toilet paper, which is abrasive, causing those micro tears. And once you're done cleansing the area, it's time to dry the area. So gently blot it dry with a soft towel or even toilet paper. Just make sure you're blotting it dry and not rubbing excessively, okay? This is a very easy lifestyle adjustment to make but it can be extremely beneficial. I think it's probably the number one thing to do if you have hemorrhoids, because it's really gonna help aid recovery. I cannot recommend it enough. And straight on to tip number three, is this you? Are you sat on the throne constantly scrolling away, caught in the phone trap, spending 20, 30, 40 minutes on the toilet, on the throne? This scenario sounds like a personal documentary, then it's time to move on to tip number three, and it's to cap your toilet time, to wait for it, 10 minutes maximum per time. I know it sounds like a very little amount, but listen, if you leave your phone out of the bathroom and no longer take it in, you can do it in 10 minutes. I believe in you. And here's the science to why I'm telling you 10 minutes maximum toilet time. The way the toilet seat is designed, there is so much pressure of blood pooling into your rectal veins. The longer you are sat in that position, i.e. more than 10 minutes, because you're playing on your phone, the more and more blood is gonna pool in those rectal veins, and we don't want that. So cap it to 10 minutes, so we get less pooling of the blood in the rectal veins. This will make a massive difference in hemorrhoid recovery. Now, if you're someone who's neglected your bottle for years with micro tech causing toilet paper, and are now looking online for the best bidet out there, then it's time to treat your bottom to the number one bidet attachment, by Tushy, who are very good friends of the shop. And the Tushy bidet literally takes eight minutes to fit to your existing toilet. Over one million bottoms love it, including my very own. I genuinely cannot recommend it enough. Listen guys, start bideting today. Treat your bottom to some luxury. Use my promo code ABRAHAM10 for 10% off. Go and visit Tushy's website to learn more. I will leave a link to them in the description below. Seriously, Tushy, great product. Thanks for sponsoring. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, well, Abraham, it's all easy saying 10 minutes, but if you want me to do it in 10 minutes, I'm gonna have to strain. Well, that moves us nicely onto tip number four. We need to avoid straining. And also, if you're having to strain, okay, to have a poop, that does sound a bit like constipation as well, because when we're having to strain, we're basically causing a lot of blood to form and push into those rectal veins that we spoke about earlier. So you seriously do need to stop straining and do speak to your healthcare professional if you think you are constipated. I also do have a video all about constipation and how to have softer stools. Go find it on my channel as well. Hope my tips help and sending awesome vibes.